use ChatGPT and Canva to create bulk quotes and memes for social media. It is so easy. So all you do is sign up for ChatGPT on the computer. It is free. And once you log in, you can get to this place where you're doing a new chat. Down here at the bottom, you just type in what you want and it will populate all of the things. Um, I did funny craft quotes. I'm just going to say, um, give me more. But you can, you know, say, maybe I just said, give me craft quotes. Then I can say, um, make them funny. Then um, I could say, make them about um, art design. Make, you just can keep modifying what you say um, to keep coming up with these lists. And they'll stay there until you clear the conversations and so you can go back to them. But what we're going to do is we're just going to highlight these first ones. I'm going to copy it and then I have an open spreadsheet and I'm going to paste them in and we're going to give it a title, funny crafting quotes, just so I can find it. And then we're going to download this as a CSV file, okay? Then we'll go over to Canva and we're going to create a Facebook post. Now it's gonna give you all sorts of ideas over here that you can use. And we will just pick one, let's pick uh, this one here. And if I was doing something like tips, where I wanted all of them to say crafting tips, then I could use something, type it in, and leave that one alone. We're not going to do that on this, so I'm just going to um, use this text box. Then we're going to go over to the side and go all the way down to apps, and we're going to look for bulk create. Then you're going to see this upload CSV file and I've got my file there and we're set. Now I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to right click on the text box, go down to connect data and then text that or click on that first one. Now if you notice over here they only showed the one. Next I'm going to hit continue and it shows all of them and then when I say generate nine pages, it does all of them. Now some of them, you're not gonna have to change at all. This one, obviously, need to fix that a little bit. I guess I need to change the size so procrastination fits. And I'm not liking the line space there, so we'll make that bigger. Maybe I don't like the font, so I can change the font to something different. And perhaps I don't even want them all to be the same. So then I'm just gonna hit the background and go over here to background and find some different things that work. Um, let's choose, um, let's see what we have in nature. Um, let's see, let's just choose that one for this. And you can add things, of course, if you wanted to add some elements. Um, here's a good one, just doing something like this. And I think I want it white. And then we'll put one up there, change or add another one, and then we'll flip that one and move it down here. Uh, if I want to add yeah, I'm not liking that so much actually now. We're just going to leave it though because I don't want to take your time with this. I just want to show you. But if you have your um, your watermark saved, you can put that on there. Maybe I'd like this better if this was white. There, that works a little better. You can copy and paste your um, 
image. Actually, mine is not able to be, I'm gonna to have to go back and get a darker one for this one because I can't actually change, it's one file, so I can't change the font. But you can just see how quick this is because this just loaded all of them. So let's change this one. We'll just change the backgrounds. If I can find my background, there it is. Um, let's see. How about if we go up and elements and we say glue gun since this one's um, a glue gun. And then we can look at pictures, photos. Let's take this one and we're gonna make it bigger. And I'm just putting it over the background. And then um, we'll change that to, well here, let's see what happens if we make the transparency low to where you see the glue gun, but it's not so it's just becomes a matter of playing. Then, okay, we'll go down here and we'll just do a background on this one. And that one looks pretty good. Oh, that's kind of like, I don't know, that's not really actually good. Let's um, put um, shapes or something. There, that one works, I like that one. And again, I don't like the line spacing, so I can do that. And I could put my, um, I could put my watermark on. This one will change the color. Let's also change the font just so you can see how easy it is. I don't like that one. Let's try that one and um, of course you can change you know where it is in the center works best there I think again line spacing always is something that I like to change and so look how we are rocking and rolling here with um, all the things let's um, change this to Let's just see when it says aesthetic blue. Okay, that's a great, a great option. And then we'll change that to white. Boom, done. Okay, click the, the button there for that. Um, let's see what that one is. Oh, for this, let's do um, up here, let's go back up to elements and click um, cardio or exercise. Um, let's see. Photos. These are all going to be, well, this one might work. Let's use that one. Okay. So again, we're going to stretch it out. And then we're going to take the transparency down. Although that's behind it, so we're going to delete that and then move it back up and it's transparent. And I'm going to space this out. Okay, and then space the letters out. So, you guys, I could go for days. It's so fun. That didn't space out quite right. Let's. See if we can fix that. There we go. Oh my goodness, you guys, how cool is this? So again, just for a quick review, you go to um, the chat GPT, put your list in, highlight it, go into a um, Excel sheet or Google Doc sheet, copy and paste it, then download it as a CSV, um, let me show you here, download CSV, then in Canva, you're going to create your Facebook post and pick something and pick one text 
and then you're going to in your bulk down here you're going to choose the bulk create you're going to upload your csv you're going to pick um, something i have some other things let's pick art motivational and then i'm going to right click connect data and click that continue generate nine pages and boom then you'll just go in and make your changes if you want hope you guys found this helpful